Hi there, I'm Carl Brown. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's a pleasure to have you around. And what I'm going to do today is just take a rewind and look back. So much has happened since the year began. Of course, we had everything happening from the American elections right on to travel and tourism. Um, there's tourism being sought now to go into, into space. <laughs> trips to the moon, trips all over the place in space. But let's look at one thing that happened on a serious note here. The Destination and Travel Show, which was held from the 2nd to the 5th of February here in London at the Olympia um, Exhibition Center. Now, attending from the Guyana High Commission for the Destination and Travel Show was Kishana Sullivan, representing the Guyana Tourism Authority, as well as yours truly, Carl Brown. And of course, we had Miss Claire Atnell, Claire Antel, sorry if I may say that correctly, from Wilderness Explorers. Now, the Guyana Tourism Authority stand was set up with the Latin America Association, the Travel Association, and they combined themselves with us, which means that Guyana is now, is being identified as a, a South American destination, which in, in sense it is a South American destination and not a Caribbean destination. Now, over the four days, Guyana received approximately 400, over 400 visitors to its booth, and there were various queries from accessibilities to um, connection, connecting flights to Guyana, um, looking at insurance, um, and bearing in mind that, that the clientele that attends the destination travel show are people within uh, the elderly, um, people who are retired, pensioners, So, but still they have got the, the niche of wanting to, to adventure. Um, again, attending was um, Mr. Hamley Case, uh, the High Commissioner for Guyana. He was there with us and really encouraged you know, people to visit. But on the other side, I had a chat, I did leave the booth and I went around and visited other operators who were marketing Guyana as a destination. And this is what they had to say. Hi, I'm, I'm Jonathan Morris, I work for Reef and Rainforest Tours. Uh, we were on one of the first fam trips out to Guyana, like I think probably 20, 2007. And we've been selling it ever since. Our clients really love it. It's got so much variety and so much natural beauty and the friendliest people. And it works very well for us. So we're very happy with it. Now we are with Latin America at the moment, but how has it been for Guyana so far? How has it been, you know, what has been the um, uh, interest in so far? Our clients are very much into the wildlife and, and, and into the wilderness. And I think that's what really grabs people is this sense of the wild and a country that's completely unexplored, well not unexplored, but completely uh, new and developing and a place where very few other tourists get to go. But also being English speaking, then people can actually relate to the local people they see when they're there. Looking at last year, 2016, for 2017 now, how does, how does the future look like for Rainforest Story as well as for Guyana? Um, I think we've had challenges with, with Brexit and things like that. Uh, I think one of the problems we have with Guyana is, are the flights. It's always an issue trying to get clients out there and different flight routes and things like that. But it, it's consistent. It, 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 it's consistently quite a popular destination for our clients. Um, but it's not without its problems, particularly the flights, make, make it quite a, quite a problem for us as well. Great. And that's success for 2017 and Reef as well? Okay. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you. Hi there, my name is Alexandra, I work for Journey Latin America and today has been really busy. Um, we have um, one group tour that goes to the Guyanas and it's actually sold out for this year and into next year we already have lots of bookings so it's a fantastic destination, a really unique one. Right, you're doing the Guyanas, how has it been for the first the English Guyana so far? Because you do sell Guyana as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a really, really popular destination, especially for second, third time visits to South America. People looking to find something different, uh, fantastic wildlife and a really fascinating destination. Looking at 2016, it has been a challenging year. How does it um, look like for 2017 for the Guyanas? Uh, well, in our group tours, we've already sold out of spaces on our Guyana's trip. Um, so we're already taking bookings for 2018. So it's looking really, really good. Yeah. yeah. So anyone can come through and who would like to visit all three Guyanas can be able to do that from Journey Latin America. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We take uh, we take all kinds of bookings, tailor-made holidays, group tours. So um, it's this great place to, to get to know. 
And if they'd like to reach you, what's your email address if they can? Uh, my, my email address is alexandra.walker at journeylatinamerica.co.uk. It's a pleasure talking to you, Alexandra, and success for 2017. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Bye -bye. Hey, so I'm Simon Evans. I'm the UK manager for Chimo Adventures. and We're a uh, Latin American specialist, and we also do cruises down to Antarctica as well, so the expedition trips down there as well. Now, tell me about the trips to the Guyanas. I think you do the Guyanas as well. We do indeed, yep. Yeah, so we cover all three of them. Um, we do uh, tailor-made trips and group itineraries as well. Um, I've been lucky enough to go there myself as well, so um, yeah, I'm very passionate about that and uh, yeah, keen to get some more people over there. How has it been for the English-speaking Guyanas? I know you do all three. So far, the Guyana in South America, how has that been so far? Uh, yeah, it's been good. Um, I think uh, probably towards the end of last year, just with Brexit and the, the, the sort of falling pound against the dollar, it's, it's made it a bit, bit harder to sell. Um, but we've had a few inquiries at the show here, so I'm hopefully going into 2017, it's looking a bit more positive, yeah. Right, so you would say that coming up for 2017, 2018, the future looks bright still for the Guyanas? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think uh, nowadays people are looking for something a little bit different, um, something a bit more unique, and I think certainly uh, the Guyanas provide that. Um, it's a little bit more off the beaten track. Um, the kind of experiences you're going to have there are very different to, to other places. And uh, I just think the whole kind of tourism model over there is, you know, is, is really positive for the future. So, um, yeah, I think long term it's looking good. Great. And with that, I say thank you so much and success for 2017, 2018. Thank you very much. Hi there. My name is Mark. I run the group tour department at Wild Frontiers. Okay, Mark, how have things been doing, first of all, for Wild Frontiers? Let's look at 2016 and 2017. I suppose you also do the Guyanas. Tell us all about that. We do. At the moment, we're only offering the Guyanas as part of a tailor-made product, but we are finding that there is interest there, and my job with the group tours is to react to that and to find new destinations for my clients, and they have asked us to put on a trip there. So I, at the moment, I am in the process of designing a new trip that will take people there, hopefully for 2018. Tell me a little bit more about that. Um, taking in, would that be flying from uh, the United Kingdom to Guyana, then on to Suriname and to French Guyana? It's complicated to get to Guyana at the moment. So what we are planning on doing, I've been looking at flights, is using an Air France KLM combination into, and excuse my, my pronunciation, Paramaribo, yep. into Suriname, and then out of Cayenne. So they will go to Guyana as a side trip. Um, so I want to see all three of, I know they're not three different countries, but if, because French Guyana is part of France, but I feel if people are going all that way, um, I will want to take in all of those three places. So that's the way that we're looking at dealing with that. That sounds interesting. Um, I suppose it's going to be cost effective as well? <sighs> Honestly, it's not a cheap destination, but at Wild Frontiers, our feeling is, let's put on the trip that we think is right. If people have the money and they'll enjoy it, fantastic. If it's too expensive, they'll find other ways of traveling there. But that's what at least we want to try, to do it the right way. So basically we can say there's something gonna be happening for 2017, 2018 with the Guyanas. Yep, 2017, it's definitely um, available as tailor-made, but 2018, hopefully we'll have it on as a group tour. Thank you so much, that's interesting, and success with that too. Thank you very much. Good luck. Hi, uh, my name is John Sadler. Um, I run Footprint Travel Guides based in the UK. Um, we have a great strength in Central and South America and the Caribbean, and we're publishing very strongly in those areas, building on the um, heritage of the company, which was around the South American Handbook, which was originally launched in 1924. It's been published every year since then, and the latest version of the guidebook is here. So. Um, and in terms of the Caribbean, so we're publishing quite heavily, so in terms of the titles we have, so there's a new edition of Trinidad and Tobago, and we're also launching a, a new guide to the Guyanas um, in six months' time, so that was researched actually late last year, um, and will be available in the stores middle of this year. So. Is that all three, all that's three that's Guyanas? All three Guyanas, yes, that's right. So. Is there any idea of having one done individually, um, independently for Guyana itself? Yeah, um, we will certainly look at that. So the idea was to research the three, three countries together and then we'll take a look and see whether or not we can make a guide viable for Guyana itself.
And finally, how has been the show been so far for 2017? Had the show? The show has been very, very good actually, yes. Um, so we, we were at um, Destinations in Manchester two weeks ago. Had a very successful show there and this one's going very well as well. So. Thank you so much, Chris, and success for the rest of the day. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, my name is Brian. Uh, I work in the product department of Wildlife Worldwide, and we operate wildlife tours to, to Guyana, uh, to the interior, obviously. And uh, over the last year, I'd say, we've, been ha we've had a, a trickle of inquiries. I don't think there's much growth in the market, because I still think the market doesn't actually know quite enough about Guyana and what's there so we really have to educate people but the good thing is that that trickle is a constant trickle so we managed to get uh, to place a few people on on regular trips which I guess is all contributing to, to the economy and the more people that come back happy then the more we can spread that fantastic message that Guyana is there with fantastic wildlife and uh, and we can give you you guys some support um, how has it been so far for 2016 and I was getting into 2017? Would you say there will be an influx or is it just at the moment because of situations creating that, that you know, slow... I think at the moment because of all the problems we face with Brexit and, and the question marks against what's happening in the United States at the moment, the people are kind of sitting on the future and not really committing themselves at the moment. But uh, as soon as we've got some some clarity in that respect, then hopefully the, the floodgates will open and we'll be off again. We've got to look on the positive side, you know. It's up to us to create the demand. We can't just sit back and wait for it to happen. And with that, I think it's absolutely wonderful talking to you. And let's see what happens for the future. I think wildlife has got a lot in, uh, to offer. Well, we certainly enjoy Guyana. In fact, I was just thinking back a couple of days ago to the first time I went to Guyana, which was back in 1976, would you believe? Uh, long time ago, and I know things have changed a lot since then. It has, it has. Although I think the cricket's gone downhill. <laughs> but with that, you know, I would say success for us in the future, and let's see how things go. Okay, I hope to see you in Borda next time. Okay, I'm Keris from Oasis Overland. We run overland adventure tours and expeditions in Africa, Central Asia and South America. So this year we'll be uh, doing our 31 week expedition from Quito to Quito, which goes right around South America. And it will be the first year we go through the Guyanas and Suriname. That's interesting. Um, is this going to be um, continuous or is it just going to be a one-off? Oh, we hope it to be continuous. Uh, we've had a lot of bookings on it. The trip's almost full, so it seems to be very popular. So we hope to run it every year. Now, if you can show me a little bit on the map from which, uh, where would you begin from? Can I look on the map here? So the whole 31 week trip starts in Quito and we travel down through Lima um, to La Paz, all the way uh, to the south of South America, through down into Patagonia. Furthest point is Ushuaia. And then we travel up again to Buenos Aires, Rio de Janeiro, we're there for New Year's Eve. So you can spend New Year's Eve and bring in the new year there. And then traveling up through Brazil to Belém, and this is where our route will change from before. And we travel through French Guyana, Suriname, Guyana, back into Brazil at Boa Vista. And you can go down to Manaus as well. And then we'll travel up through Venezuela and Colombia and finish back in Quito. Wow, that sounds interesting. And in case anyone would like to know more about, um, you know, the adventures that you have here, which is Oasis Overland, how can they get in touch with you? So you can jump on our website at www.oasisoverland.co.uk or give us a call on 01963 Great, and it's good talking with you and success with that. Thank you very much. And with that, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Thank you for looking. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. This is Carl Brown saying it was a pleasure being with you on YouTube.